Oh, hello, YouTube. Coming to you previously recorded from Lebanon State Park. Nope. <laughs> Coming to you previously recorded from... Cedars of Lebanon State Park. <laughs> <laughs> Cedars of... <laughs> you never get it right. <laughs> no, we don't. That's right. We are coming to you from Tennessee. That was the more important part. You had yes. to put it in Tennessee. Coming to you from Tennessee, we are here seeking a true Tennessee experience. So we were in East Nashville the other day, checking out the Kelsey Montag uh, balloon art. Mm -hmm. And we went to. Want well, to tell them about the barbecue, honey? I don't know. Drifters. I think it's called Drifters. We went to Drifters. I had the ribs and brisket sandwich. Cheryl had the brisket sandwich. It was delicious. And now we're just sitting here. Cheryl's enjoying a nice glass of wine. I'm enjoying the true Tennessee experience of old smoky moonshine. This is how we drank the moonshine. Well shaken. And spilling. <laughs> That was horrible. Horrible pour. Oh, that's pretty good. Mmm. It tastes like fruit punch. It tastes like a fruit punch, yes. With a hint of gasoline. <laughs> so, let me tell you about this moonshine. We have been searching since California for Sugarland's Punch, what was it called? Sugarland's Pre-Show Punch. Pre-Show Punch. Since California, we have called numerous, numerous liquor stores and no one carries it. And we get to Tennessee where it's made and we probably have the best bet of finding it and we found a different one. And this one is so what we're sipping on today is Old Smoky Mountain, Tennessee Hunch Punch. Cheryl went to the liquor store and bought a taster of it. I liked it. I like I, I I liked the color of it. I smelled it. It smelled like a fruit punch, and it tastes like a fruit punch with a hint of spy. Uh, yeah, I guess you could say hint of afterburn because it's moonshine. So obviously this is half moonshine and then I just add distilled water. That's how they proof it down. So that's how you get the best out of it. Yeah. Much better than the other one. I don't know because we still haven't found it. <laughs> <laughs> Much better because it's accessible. <laughs> yes. Now moonshine in Tennessee. This is how we drink the moonshine. Can we talk a little bit about this park? Oh yeah. You want to break it down about the park, honey? Uh, okay, so this is a state park. We actually had no idea that it was here, and thanks to Touring Taste Buds, this happened to be one of their spots, and um, it's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, $25 a night. The sites are huge. They're spacious. We're up on a hill here, which is kind of nice. Um, if you're going to come, Campground 3 seems to be the best. Uh, but any of the sites are good. Like, I don't think there is a bad site 
in this whole campground. I'll agree with that. Campsite three, campground three, it looks to be large, fully paved sites. This one, this part's not paved, but I mean. But we're on a paved pad. Yeah, we're on a paved pad. Uh, it's oh, level. Only it's water beautiful. and electric though. Downside, only water and electric. And there's a 14 day stay, minimum or maximum. Yeah, 14 days. But it's beautiful. So, cheers from Tennessee, YouTube. Um, Canada, we'll see you soon. Yeah, we're actually headed north from here come Monday. And we will be back in our home town, town slash country and native land <laughs> of Canada where... People are so friendly. So anyways, YouTube, as always, we thank you for watching. Bye, Tennessee. And bye, America. We'll see you next year. Wait, this year? We'll see you in a few months. Six months. See you in six months, y'all. Yow! Do you want to go see Grandma today? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness!